is going to get, you know, by going through the finals. But we're about to start the game here, guys. PSG Fanatic. We got Bang once again for Maestro. He likes to complicate things. I don't know why. Yep, of course. As we're going to get ourselves into this matchup. Game number one, best of five. Winner goes to the grand finals. As Chaussette will just be annoying to Siki over on the wall. Bluey going to be annoying to pretty much everyone across this entire field. Friendly and foe. That's pretty much just how he goes about things and how he's managed to build his name ever since season four started. Siki over to Snasky. Put the ball straight in the middle. Bluey should have time. Maybe go up for the passing play over to Ferrer. I like this, though, at the start of this matchup. Last game, we did see a lot of attempted long clears to start the matchup, with both teams not really wanting to take possession of the ball and potentially make a mistake. But this time, slower play, taking their time, finding passes, and it's going to be early pressure for Fnatico, making very good use of it so far. Yeah, Shaw said looked a little confused there in net. It almost backfired on them, but Fnatic, they do not secure the goal. Now, Maestro has a chance of 1v1 play, but Chaussette comes back and makes a better defensive stop there. Passing up to Bluey, and that's not something you want to happen, is have a wide-open Bluey on the offensive side. Couldn't get the deflection on target, though, but PSG, they have taken over possession here. Farah can't quite win the challenge. Up against Bang. Chaussette should have options. He picks Bluey. Forces the poor, bo poor boy to jump up way too high, and they're not <laughs> going to make anything out of that. As both teams just trading possession back and forth. Bang. Going to try and beat Chaussette. Chaussette just shuts the door down on him. It's going to be loose for the time being. But Siki over to Bang. Attempted passing play inwards, but Bluey not only takes the ball, but takes out Bang with a bang of his own. And Chaussette, one block, two block. Bluey can come in. This is going to be a very good opportunity now. Bluey taking out the defender, but everyone has now rotated back. I like the ideas, though, from PSG. There is options available. Yeah, that looked nice, but Bluey should have known that ball was kind of like pinned against the wall, not even going in front of the net. The bump was nice looking, but it was definitely not going to result in any type of offensive play there. PSG are just brutal right now. Hitting players left and right. Still not resulting in a goal, though. Two minutes and 50 remaining. Farah. Wins the challenge. Siki and Bang both back. Siki needs to win this because Bang is not in a great position. That's because he does have Snasky on the far side, so they could cover both sides of the net. Depending on where the ball went. Bluey to Chaussette. Chaussette controls the ball as Bluey looks to go for demos. And just like that, PSG take the lead. And this is why Chaussette was my Season 4 MVP choice. When he gets time with the ball, he is making plays happen. He normally is that third one back. Probably the least ball touches on his team. But every time he has a chance for a play, it seems like he capitalizes on it. That's why PSG was so good last year. That is why they'll probably be so good this year. Going to be Chaussette. Can't quite win. Bluey looks to try and get the clear away. More and more long balls coming for us. Roughly how we managed to define the opening half of this matchup. Off the backboard. Bang! Oh no! With the self-team save! You are officially benched before the weekend even starts. <laughs> get Bang out of here. Replace him with Maestro, please. To be fair, <laughs> sometimes that is the fault of the shooter to throw it back right where the passer's kind of fallen into place almost. Maestro tried to avoid it. Doesn't matter though. A Fnatic, they do wind up scoring anyway. Thankfully, Snasky there after the great touch from Siki. Look at that deflection back to Snasky. Brilliant play. Ferra did not see that one coming, was not ready. And they also got the high five after the play ended. Ultimate teamwork there from Fnatic. Now we just need to see them coordinating with their after-game celebrations, which are still the lowest tier I've ever seen in any eSport. Well, to be fair, Rocket League, they've also shortened those. Like, I don't think anyone cares about them anymore. <laughs> <sighs> need to give you, like, full reign. You should be able to move from now on. That would... Like, you should be able to, like, set a command for it so you can actually, like, do an on-purpose celebration by just hitting one button. Or just turn it into an on-screen rhythm game. There you go. Just, I, think just we're, I think we're ruining Rocket League right now, Gibbs. I don't know. I don't know. DDR with Octanes? Uh, I'm down. I'm down. Oh, there's going to be a shot, though. And as much as we are ruining Rocket League, <laughs> Bang is ruining, well, this entire match right now. Great shot from him. 
It seemed like Shawset tried to fall back. He thought Bluey might have had the touch. It looked like some commu uh, communication issues from PSG. Shawset should have definitely went for that. Sometimes it is a good idea to double commit on hard defensive plays because you, you just want to make sure someone hits it. And right there, PSG, no one hits it. And Fnatic take back the lead. Good mid-air high five from PSG. Still a goal down with one minute remaining in the match. Bluey tries to go for the miracle angle, but couldn't quite get any power from it. Now Fnatic just need to focus on holding on to this lead. Something that they struggled with quite a fair amount against... Uh, what was it? No, it was the opposite way. Oh, they just I think the whole thing was a mess. <laughs> Gibbs. Yeah, they knew how to come back, but they didn't know how to have a lead. <laughs> Either way, 35 seconds remaining. Farah can't take control of the ball. Bang. It's just going to be such an annoyance across the field. And PSG have got to try and work it yet again. They're not getting any pace or speed. Bluey, low on boost, just going to choose to smack the ball away. But PSG looking like they don't really have a clue as to how they're going to put together this next play. And Snasky can take it, go up to the air, waste more time. Follow-up shot will not go through, but it's one final opportunity remaining, and they might not even get that as Fnatic is piling on the pressure, and game one will head over to them. Well, Fnatic again with a little bit of a comeback here. PSG, they started out really strong. They had a lot of demo plays at the beginning, but that slowly went away as time went on, and F uh, Fnatic basically just took control as time went on throughout this game. Uh, PSG, they start off really hot, but Fnatic and those passing plays coming out towards the end there, paying off 2-1, very defensive game, but they get the win. And only giving up two shots to PSG. Absolutely. A much more typical game one, which we haven't actually seen as much of in the last six months. However, Fnatic managed to ease themselves into the game much better. PSG making some very large mistakes, though, in this opening matchup that they'll want to start cleaning up and not really give as much pressure away. As you can see, Ferrat didn't even manage to get a shot off that game. He's usually the backbone of this team. We'll try and reposition himself. It's basically Chassette and Ferrat's job to look at where Bluey is and go into basically every other position. Yeah, generally... Uh, he'll want to try and get more involved now. Yeah, generally Chassette's usually that defender while Ferrat's up there with Bluey trying to like close out his shots or like close out those rebounds that Bluey forces on the defense. But Farah was extremely quiet that game. So we'll see if he can bounce back. But Fnatic, we saw them earlier. They just find ways to win. It wasn't pretty last time around. But they found ways to win. And looks like they're doing it again here. But again, guys, this is a best of five to move on to the finals. Right here, Maestro. He starts it off with a goal. Again, those 50-50s when you get a chance on the other side of the field. Bluey, a poor touch. And Snasky makes him pay for it. Wide open net for Maestro. Yeah, just taking advantage of it being so close to the start of the game. No one quite in position to start shadowing the potential mistakes coming out. And even at this particular level, those sort of touches you position yourself more for the potential pass rather than potential mistouch. And Bluey's mistouch did result in an opening goal. So Fnatic continuing where they left off in game number one. PSG looking to try and capitalize on this potential opportunity. Fnatic holding themselves back. Much more disciplined this time around. Siki tries to find a way through. It will be Snasky, who is just going to keep tapping away at the defense. See if they can pull one player after another. And eventually cause PSG to leave enough space for a potential shot. Good touch there from Bluey. But there's going to be no follow-up once again. These long clears. Yes, they're holding players in the middle, PSG are. But with no one really to pass to or to aim for... What is the point? You're not really going to get anywhere. Like, the only thing they're really trying for like, on those long clears is just some time to grab boost, and then hopefully they can, like, avoid the clear back into their own half, and they can try and kind of gain possession by going off those ping-pong plays, because sometimes they just desperately need boost, so they just got to throw the ball far and then hope for the best on the way back. Two players committed. Chassette puts it straight into the corner. And leave plenty of time for Fnatic to try and deal. But that was not a very good first touch. And Ferrer forces a shot off the backboard. He wouldn't want it too much from that. Just trying to get his teammates back after the double commit. Pinch doesn't work. But Ferrer is in position to flick to the side. I'll give credit to Fnatic right now. Their positioning of their defenders has been so good so far. 
that every single time PSG tries to do anything with it, either a big clear, a passing play, or a dribble, they only need one player to get rid of the danger whilst everyone else can sort themselves out. It seems like a very well-optimized team in game two. But right now, it's just a defensive showing from both teams, really. Besides that one mistouch by Bluey, been perfect on both sides. Only one shot given up, and it was on that goal to Maestro. So it's a lot of midfield game right now. No one's getting any opportunities, but a Fnatic. They had one, and they scored, so PSG is going to have to counter that eventually at some point here. Big clear yet again. Towards a more awkward part of the field, and even better, actually, for PSG. The ball wasn't off the backboard, meaning no large clear could come out, but it's eventually going to be taken over by Snasky one-on-one. The Batmobile does lose to the Octane. But PSG with one player downfield trying to go for sets for two teammates who are still behind the back, I mean, the, uh, the halfway line means that's just not going to work out. PSG struggling to get enough pressure for long enough to really take advantage of though. A ping pong style defensive play will work out. And now they're down to the other end of the field. Bluey looking for the double tap. Can't quite get it, but he has put it straight down. And no follow up yet again. PSG are getting one chance at net. And if it doesn't work, they lose all offensive pressure. But Bluey, very smart defensive play back there. He saw Snasky trying to read him on the wall. And last second decides to flip it right into Chaussette to just confuse everyone. And it seemed to pay off for him. It might have looked like it was kind of a weird play. But I think it was mostly on purpose. And then they got a great counterattack opportunity. And Bluey normally scores those. Or at least puts those with a better shot on net. Here he's trying to go off the ceiling. Trying to make something happen. But again, throwing them a little bit too wide. Not... Having much scoring chances here for PSG off two plays that Bluey would normally turn into a scoring chance. I love the skill level that we are expecting these days. Just, just hit yeah, the right. double tap. Do yeah, it. Just, just every time, you know. Or just go off the ceiling. Whatever. On command. <laughs> Chalset will take the ball, but he's got low boost. Kind of have to leave it for Bluey. One on one against Siki, who was coming off the wall. And yet again, one player downfield for PSG. There's going to be no follow up, and it's going to immediately allow Fnatic to carry the ball back over to the blue side of the field. Sticky using the hybrid Venom right now. Just wasting more and more time. Usually you don't want to try and play too much in the corner, but right now Fnatic will just do anything to not see in that half. Blue is going to chase down Sticky. He's got to try and deal with everything, but he played it so well. Plays himself over to the right, immediately cuts himself in, and has the perfect angle to go for the save. And Bluey again, trying to be extremely creative on the offensive side, but again, not a great scoring chance. Just threw it right into the goalie on the pinch on the ground, but he's trying his best here. He's trying to be as creative as possible. Just unfortunately, they haven't paid off yet, but like if this keeps happening, PSG can eventually score. There's only 10 seconds left, though. They need it now. Absolutely, but the opportunities have been few and far between, and a big, big win there from Snasky gonna make life so much more difficult a coast-to-coast -coast carry is now needed if PSG want to pick themselves up the goal although Siki will hit it once he'll hit it twice and he'll eventually get it onto the floor now it's gonna be game two heading over to Fnatic and Fnatic they walk away with only two shots on net but they get the victory and Bluey there we saw so many chances on the offensive side but only one shot on net so he's got to find a way to cre to make that creativity. Like, if you're not going to go for the shot, go for the pass. Try and hit Farah, who's trying to come up with him at times. But it seems like a lot of times PSG has just run out of boost. They get the clear. It's only Bluey up there who has the boost. Maybe he knows he's by himself, so he's got to try and make something happen on the offensive side by himself. But they need to get more players involved. And I feel like Bluey right now is very similar to what Squishy used to be, where he's so creative that he always goes for the shot, though. Now Squishy lately, he's so creative, but he goes for the pass. And that's yes. what I want to see from Bluey. Use that creativity to leave a wide open pass for a teammate. Of course, that's also on his teammates to be able to read his creativity. And that comes with time played. But these guys have had a full season of RLCS in the books now. So they should be able to start getting there. But that's like the next level for PSG is if Bluey starts passing on those plays and Ferris starts closing out those goals, that's when they're really going to elevate to like the best team in Europe possible. Absolutely, and I think you've hit the nail on the head right now. Players like Squishy, Devo back in Season 3, Bluey in Season 4, all what is usually called a 100 boost player, who you give 100 boost, he'll use all of it, and he'll find another 100 boost just trying to make plays. The unfortunate part about that is if he's 
always on defense, much like PSG were for most of that game. You only have two 100 boost pads around for you to work with. And if he's taking one of them, all it takes is Fnatic to take the other one. And no one can be around to help him out or follow up with a passing play or any sort of play that Bluey can set up. Yeah. And now we have Fnatic on match point here. PSG, they need to win three games in a row to make it to the finals. While Fnatic just needs one to battle against Envy for $300 for first and $100 for second place. And both of those teams, whoever makes it to the finals, will be going to the grand finals on February 3rd and February 4th. Sicky gets it over to Maestro. I'm going to start calling him Maestro now. Might call him Bang if I can really see that he's going to go for a shot. And there is Bang! Gets the ball in. Gibbs steals my thunder. <laughs> Just talk about the goal. Uh, Shaw set. Trying to get that back wall defense by flying out to it again. Those are very difficult. Basically sets up a perfect pass to Maestro. And to be fair, that wasn't much of a bang. It was a little bit of a lobber. It wasn't that hard of a shot. I'm waiting for the real hard shot, but I couldn't resist. It was a bang with a question mark. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't <laughs> resist at all. Because you just said it. Mm. Had to steal it from you. Now Bonagy. Maestro with the ball on his hood. <laughs> so take it down to the other end of the field, but couldn't quite get there. Plays over to Siki, who will get blocked by Farah. The pass back always going to be a little bit too slow. Now Bluey, he's got a chance for a shot. Plays it oh. low. Everyone jumps. And Bluey will get an unconventional style of shot to work out. And that's the respect that Bluey has received throughout last season of RLCS. When Bluey has a chance like that, you have to pre-jump to make those saves. Two players go for it. And Bluey shoots it low. Perfect shot location there. And there we go. Bluey gets on the board and keeps PSG alive here. Now Farah taking the ball away. Chaussette was actually trying to set himself up for a ceiling shot. It would be very impressive if he could pull it off. However, PSG will just be happy to have their first goal of the game on the board. Farah misses the ball. Chaussette has to try and come in. But a very good block there from Snafsky. PSG looking incredibly flustered on the defense but they have got away with it now bluey off the ceiling will just basically hand it straight back over to maestro it's been a very solid opening two minutes and zicky will take advantage after psg keep playing the ball very loose yeah farrah very poor touch to show set not enough speed on and zicky look at that shot location beautifully done into the bottom left corner Bounces off the post and ricochets in. And right now, it's been about the shot location for both teams paying off here. Now Snapsky putting the ball up high. Don't know how much of that <laughs> touch he knew about, but it was crucial off the seat. I mean, off the crossbar. Straight into the player and moved away from any sort of rebound shot. Now Chaussette immediately blocked by Siki. Every single time PSG try and clear. Seems like a Fnatic player is right in front of their faces. Bang, with the ball up high. Looking for Siki. Can't quite make contact. I don't think anyone was in net or going to be in net in time for PSG to quite get a touch away. So that would have been a 3-1 lead. Bang. Finds the arced part of the wall. Just putting on offense for offense's sake right now. More and more ceiling touches. Snasky then descends to take the ball away. Now looks for Bluey. He finds Bluey. And Maestro will never score an easier goal in his career. I'm extremely surprised that Farah did not go for that challenge on Snasky when he was going off the ceiling. It was a very readable, like, 50-50 play, but he just lets it go by him, and it turns into a scoring chance. And it's been all fanatic these past two minutes, just absolutely outplaying PSG here. And a 3-1 lead, and it doesn't look to be stopping anytime soon. Josette comes straight down, takes the ball away. It's time for PSG to really start to pick up the pace because they need two goals. They need it within two minutes. Chaussette gets one touch. He could get two. He will get the goal. It is a one-goal game. I am such a fan of Chaussette. Again, he has time, and he makes it work. He just lightly taps it forward, pins it into that top right corner. Again, do not give this man any time. He will make the plays happen. And now PSG only down one. Something you just don't expect either. Usually in that situation, the player will just bounce the ball off the backboard and look for the other player to set up. 
Instead, does it all himself. Shot set now with yet another big clear. Get the feeling if a huge third tying goal was to come out, it might very well come from him. Ferrer looking for Bang in the background. Doesn't quite find him though. See, so yeah, that's exactly what PSG were basing their play around, but couldn't quite get the play to pull off. Now Bluey. Tried something. I'm uh, not too sure I can name it anywhere outside of something he tried. Just doing oh, PSG are trying here. You know, Bluey's trying to just create something. Sometimes he gets too creative for his own ability, but hey, it'll keep the defense on their toes, right? Absolutely. One minute remaining now. One goal separated. PSG taking their time. Maybe a little bit too much time. Everyone was clumped up together, offering Fnatic an opportunity to burst out on the offense, and they're taking advantage of it. Bluey gets a demo on Siki, will reprieve his team from their defensive duties. Nice touch there from Chaucet on the backboard. Going to be required yet again, but it's more or less a setup for Snasky, who set himself up for the one touch, for the two touch, but couldn't make it a two goal game. Now PSG on the offense, or at least they would love to be. Unfortunately, it's that midfield pressure that we saw in games one and two coming out for Fnatic. As they try and wind the clock down. 10 seconds remain here. And uh, Fnatic, they're just trying to keep this ball out. Snassi, a pretty decent clear. But Farah's got a shot. Throws it high. And Maestro looks to be getting the ball out. Trosset, a little bit of a poor touch. Trying to keep it alive. And that'll be it. Fnatic gets the sweep over PSG. They will be moving on to the finals to play Envy. A team where both of them were in the promotion tournament. For the RLCS and they both made it back in or at least for Fnatic's sake they made it in and uh, they'll be playing in the finals here of the team open for seeding purposes for the grand finals and for $300 for first place absolutely and if you want to be taking part I do believe next week's qualifiers have already had their signups open yeah, so, so get in there get your names cool. down you have an opportunity even if you don't think you're going to get far, you might be able to play against some of these teams that you're seeing on stream today. I can guarantee you that that is valuable experience that you will get there. And guys, we're about to go to the finals. Fnatic versus Envy. I want your predictions on Twitter. Hashtag Team Open. If you predict it right and you tweet it in time, maybe you'll win a shirt. Maybe. So go check that out. Go tweet it. Go get everyone in here. Twitch.tv slash AxelToss. And we'll be right back with the finals very shortly.